everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. My previous video one command to DD Windows 7 English version into Oracle Cloud Platform Ubuntu Virtual Machine has showed you how to change your Oracle Cloud Platform Virtual Machine to a Windows machine, Windows 7. There's some audience want me to have a, another update video to show the process again. Um, I just verified it. I decided that maybe I can show you how to DD a Windows 2016 into a Ubuntu Virtual Machine free tier. So that's why I'm making this video. Basically, there are three steps. Log into Oracle Cloud, create a Ubuntu instance, create a VNC console connection. This is optional. And then last step is just run a command, wait 20, 30 minutes. Then you will get a fully functional Windows 2016 or 2012 Windows 7 machine running in the cloud. If you haven't checked my video, here is a blog post on 51 sec to show you the process with uh, lots of screenshot there and uh, also lots of uh, more information about those images you can use and also account name you can use to log into the system. Highly recommend to check it out before you start uh, this lab. So let's start it now. Based on our steps and logged into Oracle Cloud and I'm going to create a Ubuntu instance. You need to change this image to Ubuntu image. I'm using my own private key and create. At the same time, you may need uh, another Linux acting as a middle which is used to create our Oracle Cloud VPS VNC console connection. So Linux server, I'm using a Google Cloud uh, virtual machine to do that. Um, I already start up that machine. We can check out the SSH key, which we gonna paste this key, public key into console connection while it, our Ubuntu virtual machine is provisioning so we can start to create our console connection create a local connection here and paste the, the public key you got from your uh, middle Linux virtual machine here so if you haven't checked this post, you can find out uh, how to create Oracle Cloud VNC console connections, that URL in the video description. Again, this is an optional steps, create a VNC console connection. You don't have to do it, but that to demonstrate the process, the DD image process and the Windows machine starting process, I would like to show you the VNC part. Create a console connection. Once you've got the console connection, there's a three dot and copy VNC connection for Linux. We're gonna copy that. There's a small change you need to make. That's gonna allow anyone to connect into your 5900. This is just for demonstration the VNC console connection part. We're going to slow the command to here. Accept the fingerprint. This uh, SSH tunneling running right now between this Google Cloud Linux v uh, VPS and Oracle Ubuntu console connection. Now we need to create our VNC connection. So I'm using VNC client to log in right now. You can see our Ubuntu dash dd dash win as a login here to waiting you to log in. 
So we're gonna make it uh, smaller. We're gonna keep this window open during the whole process so we can see the screen changes when from uh, Linux to Windows. And when Windows started, you will see the whole process. I will keep recording, but uh, it will be make it four times faster to make the, this video a little bit shorter. At the same time, our Ubuntu DD Win machine has been provided and we got the public IP. Let's log in. We logged in to our Ubuntu machine, which we're going to use this command to DD Windows 2016. Just one command you can copy and paste in here. And then you will see all magical things are happening in the background. I will keep both windows up and running. One is the VNC console window in the front. At the back is the Linux window. After the process starting to create in the windows, you will see the connection will be dropped.